Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting problem for you today. We have this equation, exponential equation, we have x, we have we have different bases, we have 8, 2, 6, 3, so 8 to the x minus 2 to the x in our numerator, all over 6 to the x minus 3 to the x in our denominator, and we have equal to 2. So how can we solve this interesting problem? I want to show you a really good approach. How can we do this? The best approach how can we do this is to try like to find a common basis. So right here we have 3, 2, and it looks like we can create these bases with this 8 and 6. So let's try to solve it. And I hope you will enjoy this video. Thank you for your support, for your likes, for your comment. I really appreciate it. And let's try to solve it. Okay, we have 8. 8 is a really good number because we can write it as 2 cube to the power x minus 2 to the x, yeah? So we can write this 8 as 2 cube. This is really great. And all over, what about this 6? How can we write this 6? As 1 times 6, which is absolutely not good for us, but as 2 times 3, this is really good. So minus 2 times 3 to the power x and minus 3 to the x equal to 2. Okay, right now we need to know a really good rule. So right here we need to multiply it. We have 2 to the 2 cube to the power x. We will have like 2 to the power 3x minus 2 to the x all over right here we need to raise every of these elements so 2 to the x this is a look this is a property times 3 to the x and minus 3 to the x equal to equal to 2 so we hope you understand this step i just use a power rules right here so i hope you you understand this okay take a look closely right here we have 2 to the x like to the power 3, so 2 to the x 3 times, and right here 2 to the x. So if we factor 2 to the x, so in parentheses, we will have like 2 to the power 2x, 2x minus 1. And in our denominator, if we factor 3 to the x, so 3 to the x, we will have like, in parentheses, we will have like 2 to the x minus 1, equal to 2. Yeah, so I hope you I hope you understand this step. We just factor right here 2 to the x from our numerator and right here 3 to the x. Okay, if we look closely to this interesting problem in our numerator, we can easily write this one as one square. So why I write this as one square? Take a look. We will have 2 to the x, and in parentheses we will have like 2 to the power 2x minus 1 square and equal to 2, and of course our denominator right here, so 3 to the x and times 2 to the x minus 1. Okay, we have this situation, and right now, if we look closely to this, right here we can write this as 2 to the x square, and this is really great, because we can write it as 2 to the power x, and in parentheses we can write it as 2 to the power x square minus 1 square, which is our identity. So, and all over, 3 to the x times 2 to the x minus 1, equal to 2, yeah? And right here we can write our identity. So this is our identity formula, a square minus b square. So how this formula looks like? We will have like a square minus b square, which is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Okay, let's apply this rule right here. So we'll have like 2 to the x, and times in parentheses we'll have like 2 to the x minus 1, and 2 to the x plus 1. And of course, all over 3 to the x times 2 to the x minus 1. Okay, equal to 0. Or oh, not 0, like 2. Okay, like 2. Okay, and right now, take a look closely. 2 to the x minus 1 in our numerator and 2 to the x minus 1 in our denominator. So we can easily cancel this expression. But before this, we need to write that 2 to the x minus 1 is not equal to 0. From here, 2 to the x is not equal to 1 and of course from here x is not equal to 0 which is our moment right here so x is not equal to 0 we reject this root right here because of course in the beginning we can easily see that if we x equal to 0 we'll have 1 minus 1 in our denominator which is not good for us okay what we have right now we have the next equation 2 to the x times 2 to the x plus 1 and all over from here we'll have only 3 to the x. 3 to the x equal to 2. Okay, we have this situation. What we're going to do next? Let's cross multiply. So we're going to multiply 3 to the x on both sides to, to eliminate it from denominator. So multiplying by 3 to the x, both sides. We have like 3 to the x right here. So 3 to the x multiplying by 2 to the x times 2 to the x plus 1 all over 3 to the x 
equal to 2 times 3 to the x. Yeah? So from here we cancel this from left hand side and as a result we will have the next. We will have 2 to the x times 2 to the x plus 1 equal to 2 times 3 to the x. Yeah, let's let's try to uh, write it in another way. So let's try to divide both sides by 2 because right here we have 2. This is a constant, so we don't need this constant right here. So let's divide both sides by 2. We will have like 2 to the x times 2 to the x plus 1 over 2. And right here we divide it by 2. So 2 times 3 to the x dividing by 2. Yeah, so we cancel from here and as a result, take a look closer right here, 2 to the x and 2. So right here, 2 to the first power, if we bring it to our numerator and use a power rule, we will have like minus 1. So as a result, 2 to the power x minus 1 times 2 to the power x plus 1 equal to 3 to the power x. And this is our really interesting expression right here. Okay. What we're going to do next? So I hope you understand this step right here. So we have this expression. And what we're going to do next? Let's divide our our every root. So for example, we have like a negative, positive, doesn't matter. We check all roots, but let's divide our our line of roots. For example, let's check if x is greater or equal than 2. So let's try to start with 2. So we go with 2 and bigger than 2. Then we go with x equal to 1 and then we go to negative. Yeah, let's try to divide our, our roots. So let's try to check x is greater or equal than 2. What we'll have as a result? We have this expression right here. If x is greater than 2, we plug in right here, x is, is it's a, is, uh, we have 2 to the power x minus 1 times 2 to the power x plus 1 equal to 3 to the x. Yeah, we go with x is greater than 2. So if plugging it right here x is greater than 2, we'll have like 2 to the power some power, doesn't matter, even and or odd number. We'll have right here this expression is even number, so even. Okay, if you plug in f, x is greater than 2 right here, so this is even number. But if you add 1 to this number, we will have like odd. This is odd number, odd. And one really interesting moment, if we multiply even number by odd number, we will have every time even number. So as a result, on the left hand side, we have even number, which is really good. On the right hand side, 3 to the power greater than 2, for example, 3 cube, 3 to the fourth, 81, 3 to the fifth, 243. So this is odd number, odd number. So what we have as a result right here, we will have that even number is equal to odd, which is absolutely incorrect. So this is absolutely impossible. So if x is greater or equal than 2, we will have no no solutions. Okay? And we reject like a lot of a lot of roots right here because x is greater than 2, we like reject a lot of a lot of roots. Let's go next. Let's go next. Let's go to x equal to 1. So second case, if x is equal to 1. If x is equal to 1, I write this once more. So 2 to the power x minus 1 times 2 to the power x plus 1 equal to 3 to the power x. Yeah, If x is equal to 1, what we have as a result? Right here, 2 to the 0 power, so 2 to the power 1 minus 1. Right here, 2 to the power 1 plus 1 equal to 3 to the power 1. Let's look closely right here, 2 to the 0 power, which is equal to right here, 2 to the 0 power times 2 to the first times plus 1 will have times 3 equal to 3, which is correct because 2 to the 0 power equal to 1, so 1 times 3 equal to 3. So finally we find our 1 root, but this is x equal to 1. So we reject bigger than 2 right here. We find 1 root, but we need to find our negative root because as you can see right here, so for example we have a line of roots right here. So we check right here 2 and greater than 2. So we reject it. No, no solution, we prove it right here. We check 1 we check 1 right here, this is good, we reject 0, we reject 0, and so right here no roots as well, so only only 1, and we need to check negative numbers, so right here we need to check all negative numbers, so this will be our third case. I want to write this case right here on the bottom, so we have like third case, third case, if x is, if if x is, for example, equal to minus n, yeah, so we can write it as minus n, and of course n is greater or equal than 1. So let's try to find if x is negative. So I write this once more, so 2 to the power x minus 1 
equal to 2 to the power x plus 1, not equal, this is like multiplying right here, 2 to the power x plus 1 equal to 3 to the power x. Let's plug in minus, minus n instead of our x. What we'll have as a result? We'll have 2 to the power minus n minus 1, in parentheses 2 to the power minus n plus 1 equal to 3 to the power minus n. Yeah? Yeah, okay. What we're going to do next, let's rewrite this in, as a parenthesis. So right here we can write it as 2 to the power minus in parenthesis n plus 1. What we'll have in parenthesis? Right here we can write this as 1 over 2 to the power n plus 1 and equal to 1 over 3 to the power n. Yeah, so we can write it in this way. Okay, let's go next. Let's try to simplify this. Let's bring this element from our numerator to our denominator. This is negative power. We can write it as 1 over 2 to the power n plus 1 times this parenthesis 1 over 2 to the n plus 1 equal to 1 over 3 to the power n. Yeah? So we have this expression. What are we going to do next? Let's find common denominator right here and let's try to, to add this 1 over 2 to the n plus 1. Let's try to find it. So we have 1 over 2 to the power n plus 1. Right here in parentheses we will have like 2 to the n plus 1 over 2 to the n equal to 1 over 3 to the power n. Yeah, so I hope you, you understand this step. We just add this expression in, in parentheses right here. And right now let's let's cross multiply it and let's try to right here multiply it real quick and if we cross, use cross multiply we'll have like 2 to the power n plus 1 over 2 to the power 2n plus 1 equal to 1 over 3 to the power n. And if we multiply it using cross multiplying, we will have like 3 to the power n times 2 to the power n plus 1 equal to equal to 2 to the power 2n plus 1. And of course n is greater or equal than 1 because we find it as, as negative 1. So take a look closely what you have as a result. If n is greater than 1. So right here 3 to the first, 3 to the second, 3 to the third, this is odd number. So this is our odd number. 3 to the n. 2 to the power n plus 1. This is odd number as well. 2 to the power 2n plus 1 is if n is positive, so this is even number. It doesn't matter about the power. Every time this is even number. What do you have as a result? Odd times odd equal to even, so we have like odd equal to even, which is absolutely incorrect. So if x is negative 1, we can we can find a root right here. So one and only case, this equation have a root, I write right here our answer, so our answer x equal to 1, and we prove it, we check it right here in the beginning. So I hope you understand this explanation. If you still have any question, write your question in comment, write your suggestion in comment. I try to help everyone and thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it and see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this question and have a great day.